Thank you so much for liking your comments and subscribing to the channel. Please share this with your friends. Smash that like button. Smash the subscription bell. Share this with everybody you know. We're trying to make sure people understand that they're not victims. That they are powerful greatness. And all this stuff that's out here that's telling them otherwise is false and will not benefit them in the end. So please, I appreciate that. Share that. Redlining is the denial of services to residents of a specific area based upon the demographics. So essentially it was a practice that was used in the early 1900s and up to the mid 1900s and even into the 80s where banks and other institutions would actually mark off certain communities within a jurisdiction within the city within a certain area as undesirable for loans or risky or areas where there should not be loans made and the majority of those communities were communities of color so banks would say i will not lend or or certify or underwrite a loan to community a because community a has a red line around it so it was indicating on a map areas that were undesirable when it comes to not just financial services but grocery stores and healthcare and other things like that. So while that practice was horrible, it's a horrible practice and some of that, the remnants of that, the vestiges of that are still in practice today, unfortunately. What I want to talk about is a different kind of red line. I want to talk about a bloodline, the blood of Jesus line. In today's world, we have to place the blood of Jesus line around our communities, around our children, around our families, where the devil cannot trespass, where his demons know not to come towards us because there's a red line around that area. Don't mess with that area. Don't touch that area. Oh no, that's an area where you do not want to touch. See, in the spirit world, we need to have red lines around our communities, around our houses, and around our families to indicate to the devil, no, you cannot bring your sickness and disease. You cannot bring your poverty. You cannot bring your victim mentality. You cannot bring that junk to that area. It's rejected. So let's put a red line around our communities. Let's put a red line around our families. Let's put a red line, the blood of Jesus line. Let's put that blood of Jesus line like they did during... The Passover, for Passover. You know how they put the blood on the doorpost? Let's do that in the spirit world. Let's take the blood of Jesus, put that red line over our houses, put the red line over our families. And the devil knows, no, I will not send that junk to that area. It's returned to sender. It's gonna be rejected. It's gonna be rejected. So all of those tactics, the mentality of victimization, socialism, communism, all those things that are detrimental to our families and to our communities. We reject that. We place that bloodline, that red line around our families, around our houses, because we're not victims. We are empowered for greatness. And that bloodline will keep us. That bloodline will protect us. That bloodline gives us the victory. 